Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to get the icons you need for your mobile app in Figma and how to integrate them in your project. Let's jump right into Figma to see how that works. I created a new project in Figma to demonstrate how that works and the very first thing we need to do is to get the plugins that we need that contain all the icons. So under plugins manage plugins, browse plugins in community. I already have a couple of uh, plugins um, installed, but let's see what we see in the community um, plugins. You see here, searching for the term icons, material design icons. That is my strong recommendation if you plan to use them and align them for a Flutter application, for example. So that would be a must to, to have. Other good ones are uh, feather icons, but you can look around uh, for a variety of icon libraries that you might want to use. So just go ahead and install the, the icon libraries you need and the, in the plugins. And once you have done that, uh, what I do is I start an additional page, go to page plus, call it icons. And this is where I store the icons that I will use in this specific project. So then I go to my plugins and um, I can iconify feather icons. These are good ones. Um, let's, let's see what iconify has to offer. And then for my specific application, I need a couple of them. So let's filter out what I need. I need to give some notifications, let's say, and I like a somewhat softer style, not too dark. So I can drag that right into my screen here. Uh, what else do I need? Device tech. Uh, let's say I have an application where I, I need a user account, user profile stuff. Yep. Um, let's go with the round one that I like to use in the header. Um, files, folder. So think about what your application does, what you need. If it's something is missing, you can always go and get more. Uh, let's say you have some kind of navigation in here. Um, shopping, oh yeah, credit card, I need to pay something and I need a shopping card as well. Um, Anything else? Yeah, I have that. So you just go in ahead and pick what you need. Uh, and if something is missing again, go back at any time. And if this library does not offer what you need, then go to another one. So now let's assume these are the icons I need. I have them in my icon page. And um, let's say I want to pick a couple of them and use them in a, in a menu later on. So let's say this one I want to use in a, oops, in a, in a menu. Um, what I do then is I turn it into a component and Let's keep the size to the standard 24-24. And what I can also do is I can create a variant. I will use this one in the menu and the variant would look slightly different uh, when that uh, menu page is selected, for example. So I make this slightly bigger, let's say, oops, and uh, I might give it 
a different color as well. You can play around later, but because it's a component, you can change that easily across all screens later on. So I have two different variants and I can call them, this one is selected equals true. And this one is selected equals false. Good. And that's one example that I have. I give the whole one now um, a new name for my application, or let's call it payment icon. And let's go to my main page. And now let's see how we can use it. I create a frame. And now in this frame, I go to my assets. I have here the component that I just created. I can drag it in here. And I see here I have the versions and I can change how it looks selected or unselected. And then for example, I might have two different screens. Uh, one uses this component selected, one unselected. Or I can also use it in a, um, in a little animation or in a prototyping version. So that's how you get the uh, icons you need for your application from a plugin into your frame. That's all for this video. And if you want to see how to create a whole menu around this, uh, follow for more.